down again. Let me, can you, you mind showing me to grab, you really grab the tile? You really grab the tile of the lizard? Yeah, I'll just pickle. Really? Yeah. Just the bite? Yeah, take up See how fast he is? Yeah. You couldn't possibly grab him. <laughs> He's that fast on the other tree now. Yeah. Oh man, are you shy? Come on down, boy. You should see the other one, the other time, and the other one is even bigger. Yeah, really? Yeah. Maybe this one is the male. Yes, only the male is smaller than the female, huh? Oh, no. There's three of them. I've seen them much bigger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they get really big. In the pond at home, you know, in, in green. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was running little and oh, there's a big crocodile in the pond. And it was a big goanna. Oh, and the old Aboriginal people reckon he's been around for a long time. He comes down out of the sand dunes. Mm. No joke, Captain, he was about that big and he could eat in a wallaby. Wow. He was huge. Because this he is the one. He was a, a crocodile. Because the guana is the one that they call a dragon, isn't it? I don't know. So he's called a. Um, um, What's their word? Okay, can you grab his tile now? Oh, it's a bit high up. Um, it's, just, it's just the colour of the tile. Oh yeah, that must be how they get to recognize. No! Um, <laughs> not a bad, uh, He's gone. Uh, Bangara. Bangara. Yeah, Bangara. <laughs> That's an Aboriginal thing, isn't it? Yeah, Bangara. Hey! Yeah, the Bangara there. What a snob you are! Yeah. Already down here, and that there'll be another tree coming through. Oh, really? Well, I'm gonna have that on the video. Well, come in and I'll show you. Oh, the, the sun is in the way. The what a snob! <laughs> yeah, oh, yes, yeah, so this and one here. Feet. Yeah. This is the truck. Yeah, <laughs> it is the shape of his tail, huh? Yeah, this way as well. You know? <laughs> oh, that's why I rake, I track him. <laughs> you can actually see it better on the video. Yeah, yeah. So this is the iguana style. Yeah. <laughs> the truck of the iguana this way and they turn around. Iguana's uh, truck. Yeah. Look at that. Big bang era. So in the background, that's Marianne's voice. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be in the video. No, <laughs> so I'm just gonna. <laughs> so we're gonna wait for the other two iguana, and then we can have that in the they video. Out at night. Yeah. See where he is up on the tree. Yes, so oh, yeah. he transferred to the other Told tree already. Those trees, that's why well, that's it. It's going to be a very upset iguana if this tree is well, gone. Yeah. I wonder why. Maybe there's I something there. It's a hollow log. <laughs> it's a hollow tree that's going to fall on my house. So Maybe they, they get a home. Have fun. Maybe they have a nest up there. Maybe. Maybe they go inside the nest and then it go. It yeah. has a hollow inside it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it would be. There would be a hollow in there. This might be a family. You're going to ruin the whole family of iguana, no, Marianne, if you're going to get rid of the tree. I'm not going to cut the tree. So there's a history in that tree. No, <laughs> you're going to be the one to be blamed for. No, I, I feel sad enough. <laughs> I feel sad enough clearing up there. 
Yeah. You know? <laughs> 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 the three is not. This is going in my YouTube, this uh, one. Well, there's got to be a reason for them to be actually loving this tree. And you're going to have to find out why. Yeah, well, I just don't know. I, other than the, that the couple of big hollows, you have to watch where he goes. Yeah. Because the, the birds don't really nest in that tree. Yes. My ducks land on that broken dead branch there, the vertical duck. What, what do they normally yeah. eat, the iguana? Eggs and small birds. So there's no yeah, other reason. And if they throw out the spaghetti bolognese, they come and eat that. So Marianne was saying, honey, that, that tree, the iguana loves the tree. Yeah, the tree that loves that tree. And she wanting to get rid of the tree, but it's very hard now because of the iguana. No, they love it. Because there's a reason all for the iguana to be climbing up there. Yeah, she is. See just there, where the green just laying on the trunk, has it been? So one tree's going that way and that one's going that way. It was already on the ground and then when we came around the, the other way. The green and then you got the next green oh, yeah, going yeah, up yeah, on I the see green. Yeah. 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 What's it so as it just climbs oh, right up? Something, something yellow? Uh, maybe it's just a leaf hanging out of that. I saw thing. something yellow. Well, for you to find out what is going on, what it is that they love, you have to climb up there with them. <laughs> Probably white ants up there as well. Oh, could be it too. Yeah. Maybe thermite? Yeah, that's what I mean. Probably. And do you love thermites, do you think? Yeah, they would eat them. Well, maybe that could be the reason. Anything that's nesting. Well, that's going to be a bit of a worry if the termite is nesting up there and yeah, that tree can see, fall any time. I can see termite tracks going up the tree. Oh, that's a bit of a worry. I know. I know. That's why I worry. But yeah. I'm not going, I can't worry about any more than I've done. Maybe you need yeah, to draw. I've seen a big red baby 